Hi everybody, it's Carla and I am here just to do a quick haul video. Um, I love when I go to the thrift store and there are bags full of laces and trims and sometimes there, there's a whole bunch of laces and trims that I know I won't use. But this particular bag today had several that I will use. Now there were some in there that had Christmas ribbons and like bright gold colors and things that I don't use very often. But in there was, for three dollars, um, several that I will use. So I thought I would show them to you. Um, and I love when there's just little bits and pieces too. They were all really clean. Um, so there was that little piece and this little piece, but then there was also a generous roll of this and you know how it has normally has the other piece of ribbon woven through. Well, this one has sort of just been manufactured this way. So it's, um, looks like the type that has it woven through, but it's not, it's just, uh, colored yellow in the middle so sort of faux weave woven but lots of it I'm gonna guess this is probably three yards maybe more so I thought that was a good deal I better put this pin back before I find somebody the wrong way <laughs> and then this one again I've been finding this kind of lace a lot I love making bows with this and using them on my hanging projects and then there was this one that has the real woven strip in the middle you can see it so you could probably take out this it's a plaid ribbon that's that's running through it you could take that out and reweave a different color or some seam binding or something through it but the lace itself is really pretty it's it's a white cotton crochet lace and there's a lot of this one too. And so I can tea dye and avocado dye some of it and leave some of it white. And so it's very versatile. I can change the ribbons in and out. So, I don't know if you can see, but again, I think that's a good, probably three yards. So that was in there. And then this one again is the one where it looks like it's woven in, but it's really just manufactured that way. So, you can't change the color, but it's pink and cream. Perfect for shabby chic and vintage crafting. And this one's probably just about a yard. But that was a good one. So, those were the laces in the bag. And then the other ones, um, oh, and this was in there. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, there was some seam binding, lace seam binding, a whole card of it in that bag. And then there was also this corded lace. Just a small piece, but enough to cut into really pretty appliques. So all of that was in that bag, along with some usable Christmas ones. There was a red eyelid lace trim and a green lace trim, and those I just re-wrapped and put in my Christmas box for decorating packages at Christmas time. Um, but the ones that I just showed you will be for crafting right away. Um, and I haven't done paper projects in a while, though I love crafting with paper, but when I went to Hobby Lobby, I found some really nice floral patterned um, papers, and this is just a tape type um, paper, um, floral on cream with pink polka dots, and this one wasn't on sale, it was $3.99, but I used my 40% off coupon for this one, and I just love the pink and uh, just different shades of pink um, roses on this one and then this one is really cool it's got um, like a distressed wood pattern um, and then the shabby chic kind of roses on it and this whole roll was with one dollar and fifty cents now this was a couple weeks ago. I don't know if they have these on sale anymore, but you can see it was originally six dollars, and then I got it for a dollar fifty. And I don't know if it says how many. Oh, 20 feet. Wow, 14 by 20 feet. 
anyway it's pretty decent amount of paper so I'm going to cover my um, heavy cardstock and make some trim boards for wrapping my lace around I grabbed two of these because two was still half the price of one so it was a really good deal and then there's this one that I've already used for bookmarks it's really pretty the bright it's a little bright for me but I covered this I made bookmarks and covered them with cream lace so that it kind of muted it out a little bit but that's another really big roll and this one was a dollar twenty five and it was five ninety nine and then I've been having fun finding books on the themes of things that I enjoy this one I thought was really neat it's called the linen closet how to care for your fine linens and laces and it's um I don't know that I would do it the way the book says I just thought it was a neat book it had pictures of old vintage pictures of clothes drying on the line and then there's stories um sweet little baby <laughs> um yeah so I thought this was a neat little book about linens and doilies and how to care for them and then I found this one the author her name is Kelly Ray Roberts you may have seen her art but I just love her art um, it reminds me of paper art just her drawings and then inside it has sweet little pockets like this and there's a heart that says to and from Um, and then the, the it's it's very ethnic looking to me as well but I love pattern mixing I mean look at her hair so cute and I love pattern mixing so this is like a lot of pattern mixing um, the ethnic look of the the girls faces um, and the colors they're the like muted colors that I really like. The sun is going down, so sorry that the color is not so, the lighting is not so great. Anyway, I just love the artwork in this book. So I just want to show you that. I can't remember what I paid for this. I think probably two dollars or something like that. I got that one and then this one's really sweet I have no little girls in my life right now but one day I hope I'll have granddaughters I'll just keep hoping anyway this one's called princesses and I love any books that have like little pockets let me move my coffee cup my sister brought me this from Morocco or Monaco um, and I'm gonna break it if I don't move it um, so anyway there is this and it, and it has little pockets. Um, I love anything about princesses and fairies and things like that. So this one's really fun. It's just a bunch of, if I can move some of this, get a little closer. Um, you know, dressing do's and don'ts for princesses. It's just a fun little make-believe book that even big girls can enjoy. This is probably what their boudoir. Yeah, look at that, isn't that cute? You open the door and there's the finely dressed little princess. So anyway, I won't take you through the whole book, but it's um, it was just too cute for me to leave. Sorry about that. And then I have this one it's called a celebration of friendship and I just love the artwork in this one move some of this as well. so I'll thumb through it for you real quick can you see there's recipes and stories and the artwork sort of reminds me of impressionistic art their watercolors and look at there's a nice vintage picture 
just going for a walk. Anyway, I really, really like this one. I'm going to spend some time thumbing through it. I just got this one today. Um, but again, it's called a celebration of friendship. And I got this for $3. This is one of my absolute favorite finds because it's fairies. If you see this, it's called Fairyopolis, a flower fairies journal. And you see a lot of the pictures of the flower fairies on people's fairy um, lace books that they make. But this one is a little story about the author of the book um, and her love for fairies. But it also has the pockets. Um, so I don't know how to explain it except it's sort of interactive and in that you flip the pages or there's little books within the book. Um, and I think this book is still available actually in the regular stores. But there's another one called Flower Fairies, which have wonderful photos. I don't know if you can see, there's a little envelope that you can open. I can't get it close enough to show you that one. But I just think the artwork is wonderful in these. Let me see. There we go, maybe a little better. Um, it's another little interactive thing with a letter. So this was a really fun fairy book. It's very vintage looking. It's a berry one. It's a little story within the story about the helpful elves. What well, says tales of grateful and helpful fairies, and then inside there's a story about helpful elves. See how cute little envelopes. This would be a fun one to just sit down with kids and use your imagination on. And there's another one. Oh, this is really fun. I forgot about this. You can take it and put it up to your eyes, and it's like a little 3D viewer. Can you see that? Yeah. So when you look in, it's like the um, the fairies are three dimensional. That's a really fun one. So that was my fairy book, and this particular day, oh, I got the deal so that it was a dollar. Can't beat that. I'm sure it's way more than a dollar. And then the last book was just on the Royal Family album. I like anything about the Royals as well. So I got that one. Um, so that's all for my little haul. I just wanted to show you some of the things I picked up at the thrift store. Oh, this card of... I didn't show you. This card of lace was also among the laces in that bag and I like this one that has the pink I don't know if you can see it because of the shadow it's not a good time of day for filming and then there's some eyelid lace trim and I, I was happy for this one because I really wanted some narrow lace for trimming things off so that was in there too but anyway it's fun to grab deals like this and share them with you and I hope you all are having a great time crafting. I'll be back again soon. Bye.